Hey guys, welcome back to, oh, I don't know, Esther Manhattanford. <laughs> we never really got going with the whole Estherford. The old Indiana Estherford is wandering around here somewhere, trying to dig up the remains of his lost ancestors. Right, a couple of things that we really need to do. And I'm, like, before I do anything, I had my ultimate kitten ball of string moment in the last episode when I completely forgot for the second episode running to put in a monument. So <laughs> I'm going to do that because otherwise I'll forget again. We're going to put in the space elevator. Now this thing's going to bring in uh, more uh, tourists. And I want to I, I want to play around with the tourism thing and see, um, see what we can get that to do. So there we go. Boom. And everybody's happy. And like in the entire city, everybody's happy because it's a wonderful thing. Cool. So that's that. Right, now, a, a couple of episodes ago, I did a shout-out for Renzi, remember? And um, since then, quite a number of people have been asking me for shout-outs, and I said it was, like, it was only because he was the first person to do it. So I want to make it clear to Powder Monkey, Doom Schultz, Maurizio Garcia Cantu, uh, <laughs> Vigan Lona. Uh, Elijah Vanderland, Bruno Bustos, Modern Kennan, Hayden Robidoux, Gaming Matrix YOLO, and Lil Strip Channel. Right, I want to make it clear to all of you, you're not getting a shout out, okay? It was just for, for the first one for Renzi. Right. <laughs> right, now let's move on, because we've actually got stuff to do, guys. Um, now. For any of you who are not following my uh, my build series with the Asset Manager, um, I'm just going to let you know that I've replaced the um, the container yard and also the intersection. So if you're using those, please go and get the new ones. And there's also a new uh, modular container yard, which is over here. And I'll just show you quickly. That's it. It's got um, a middle section that you can use multiple times, and actually, I've I've put in, I've been working on the I've been working on the airport. The airport's now getting to be quite a big old size. I'm really liking how the airport's looking. It's coming together really nicely. We're going to do more work on this, I think. But I, I put in a really huge container yard over here, and all it is, it's um, it's one uh, left piece, and then it's a load of middles. And then a right piece on the end, and I think they look—I think they look really good. I'm really impressed with that. Cool. Now, uh, in version 1.0.5, which is the current version, um, apparently they have fixed the train bug. So right now we're just waiting for our, our trains to kind of go away, uh, so that. Uh, so, so that we can see if our train system actually works. But uh, we've got to wait for them all to go away, which is uh, going to take a while, I think, because there's still, like, millions of trains. Now, actually, one thing, you know, I, actually, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this and see if this works. What I'm going to do is just disconnect my railway network from the main line. Boom, and boom. And I'm going to see what happens to all the trains. Oh, and they start despawning. Look, there's trains despawning left, right, and center. Right, well, let's leave that for a minute. And, uh, and hopefully that will get sorted out. Now, while we're on the subject of that, transport. Transport is something that... Um, I've, I've kind of slacked on, but I've kind of slacked on it deliberately because I was trying to like get through everything and show you all the different bits and pieces. So I want to put in uh, more subways. I want to put in a lot more buses and bus routes. We need to put in the, um, the train routes. But again, with the trains, I didn't want to start putting train routes in until I'd actually got um, all my stations in because I didn't want to go around and do the routes and then go around and have to do them again and then change them again and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, let's um, let's do a little bit of that now, because the reason we're getting all these abandoned buildings is the workers aren't getting around to their jobs. That's um, that's our problem at the moment. So we need to 
We need to remedy that. I want to put a train station in over here. And again, I want a passenger and a cargo. Um, so I'm just kind of looking over here and thinking, yeah, that's probably a good place. So is that a good, is that good, a good place for the train stations? You know, probably if I hook this road up to something, it probably wouldn't be a bad place. Um, the only other place is if I put them kind of maybe down here. Now, you, no, no, stick with the original plan. Stick with the original plan, Sky. So, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think we know how we're going to do it. Let's pause the uh, pause the game for a sec. We'll delete a few sections of track. And we'll delete a few sections of this as well. Because this, actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this because this is going to get changed because I'm going to put in some of the new big farms. If you haven't seen the big farms, oh, go go see that. Go see that video. Because the big farms, I well, I think the big farms are cool. I think the big farms are very cool. Uh, what the hell am I trying to put in? I'm trying to put in... Uh, you're trying to, I'm desperately trying not to cough at the moment. I've got a sore throat again. Oh, me and my sore throat. It's pathetic, isn't it? Right, so we want a cargo. Let's put the cargo, I think, over this end. Now, this is going to be a very busy road, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a four lane in. Yeah. We'll manage. We'll manage. So, let's put this... Let's put this... Oh, height too high. Slope too steep. Height too high. What? What the hell are you on about? It's too hot. The height is too high. It's it's talking nonsense. Uh, well, wh where else could we put this then? We um, now, I mean, we could put it like over here, which might not be the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah, actually, you know what? I tell you what, guys, we're gonna, we're going to rework this slightly. I'm going to rework this road. I think. Yeah, 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 that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Because that makes, that actually makes some sense. Which, like most of my stuff doesn't. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of this road, because it's a bit of an abomination. Right. Now we'll put in kind of a sensible road. And what do I want? I want a four lane, just a regular one will do. And we'll just run it kind of straight up here. There we go. Right. We'll get rid of the train track. I'll go and put that other train track in in a minute. Back in, I should say. Take that out. Right. Now, trains. Where's our trains? Cargo train. Now, shall I put... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put the cargo train up that end. And I'm going to put the passenger one down this end where the track's a bit... Uh, Tracks a bit closer. That'll make life a bit bit easier. Now we need to trim that back one more. So we trim that back. Then we hook this baby up. And now, no doubt, I'll still have people saying, "No, oh, but don't put them, don't put them on the main line, and put them on separate tracks for the cargo and the passengers and all the rest of it." Uh, to be absolutely honest, I don't want to do that, and that's not how trains are in the real world anyway. So, you know. Cargo trains and passenger trains run on the same tracks, and uh, and the st and the stations are on the lines. They're not all on separate sidings. So, yeah, I want this. I I want to try and get this game to work properly, like the way it does in the real world. Because I, I was bigging them up when the game was uh, before before the game was launched, saying you know the simulation's good. It's all about the real world. I'm trying to find the curve tool. Um, so, so yeah, I want them to. I want them to live up to that. I want the game to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, now, how the hell am I going to hook this up? Kind of, kind of, sort of like that-ish. which is still a bit of an abomination, but I can live with it. Right. So yeah. So that's going to be the yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Right. Um, I want to put in. At least, like, one junction so that these guys can turn around. 
Uh, we'll put in we'll put in a couple of a couple of roads just for no other reason than for them to be able to turn around. So I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put another one like up here. There we go. Cool, that's done. So we've got two more train stations in, which is excellent. That's awesome source. We do need to put routes and stuff in. Um, and I do, I see, I want to put in probably another one over here. It's, ah, oh, there's so much to do. Man, there's so much to do. I want to put, an, I want to put more subways in. Like, I could spend probably a couple of hours, like, just playing around with the, um, with the transport and getting it, like, the way I want it. Let's move that out there. And then there, and then bring it round there. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think that's I think that's reconnected our rail. Let's um, hook that up again. Get running. Uh, I, you know what? We're going to put in. We're going to put in another subway. We're going to put in the um, the west side subway. We've got the east side subway. So we've got the east way, east side subway that goes all the way up to the airport, right? But we want to put in a west side as well. So how the hell are we going to do this? Don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So let's put in a stop there. And again, we w I, I want these to be like fairly fairly frequent along here. Uh, maybe. And I do I I do kind of prefer them on the corners of roads, but we'll we'll kind of fit them in where we can. So one there and. Uh, yeah, we'll do one up. Oh, yep, yeah, that fit, that works, that works. And then... I'm just wondering if we should come in, but... Yeah, I think we'll stick, I think we'll stick to here. Would have been... Uh, you know, I might, I might put in like a circle line or something, so that people can get around. How about we put one up here, and then we'll put one, like, in the middle. Oh, but that's then the wrong orientation, isn't it? Now, that's not good. Okay, that's not good. Right, well, it's, in that case, it's going there. Then, I want to actually, like, bring this up. We'll have to put other stations in. In, in the middle and stuff, but... I do want to bring it up. Here. You know what? We'll live with uh, we'll live with that for now because at least people can get up and down town. So we'll hook that up with some tracks. So where are we? Where are we? Uh, yeah, from there. Hook you up there. I've got to say, putting in putting in subways for me is like one of the funnest thing in the game. I, in fact, I'm kind of rushing and I shouldn't because I I really should kind of just lay back and enjoy this, but. I, I try to get as much stuff done as I can each episode. Uh, where are we? Up to that one, and... It's a, I've got to say, <laughs> and I've got to stop saying, I've got to say, but it would be nice if you didn't have to, like, cancel and then restart every time. Like, if these stops were just, like, one stop, if it was just one connection point. I can kind of understand why they've done it the way they've done it, but... Now... I'm just wondering whether I should, like, connect it over here. You know, I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. So this is going to be a bit of a terminus going on over here. So let's put in a route. So we're actually going to start the line there. Come over to this station. This one. This one. Isn't it so cool that we can set up the routes and stuff? It's a bit time consuming though. I mean, when you start putting in bus routes and stuff... I mean, you really can spend so much time on it. But that's that's the awesomeness of the game. Like when you when you're actually playing, like when you're watching me do it, I I don't know how much fun that is, but when when you're actually doing it yourself, oh, 
it's just so cool. I mean, you can actually plan proper transport networks. So, up, back up here, and there, and then finally over to the Nanny Giggles Roundabout. This will be Nanny Giggles Station. It's going to be, it's going to be named. Oh yes, it's going to be named. This is Nanny Giggles Station. Uh, and by the way, can people stop calling her Nanny Piggles? It's not fair. It's not nice. It's Nanny Giggles. Just because I named a pig after her doesn't give you guys free license to call her Nanny Piggles. <laughs> I'm going to burn. I'm going to burn. <laughs> oh my god. The names that you guys have become... Oh, I've got to do this. I've got to do it. Like, like, uh, sorry. Forget practicality. And it's like the game's live now, so you guys can go and play and stuff. So we're just going to do for entertainment now. Um, d districts. Districts. Up here. Now, remember, we've got 50 Shades of Hay. Cool, right? Yeah, okay. We've got 50 Shades of Hay. But there's been a split. There has been a split in the district. Because some people wanted it to be called 50 Shades of Hay. And there's a, there's a whole contingent down here, the farming community. Who say it should be fifty shades of hay. And then there's another contingent over this side who say, No, it shouldn't be fifty shades of hay, it should be fifty shades of grain. And then there's another bunch in the middle who are just like, Oh god, you're all sad. Right? So what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna actually test something because what happens if you actually split a district in half with another district. It lets you do it. Oh my god. How about that? It lets you do it. So we've got one district, but it's completely disconnected in two halves. Oh, that's very, very cool. Right. So I need to put in um, another district over here to replace this half of uh, 50 shades of hay so this district over here yeah this district is going to be uh, I've got to get rid of the oh, I need to flag it all as uh, as farming it's still all going to be farming so this is going to be 50 shades of hay this one over here is going to be um, 50 Shades of Grain. And thank you for that suggestion, because that made me laugh as well. Uh, 50 Shades of Grain. And then, in the middle... <laughs> this made me laugh. We're going to do the crematoriums in a minute, because that's even funnier. Uh, where, what was it? What, what are we doing? Um, Glide Hills. This... The, because this is, the, this is the, where the war is taking place between the grains and the haze. This is Farmageddon. <laughs> I don't know about you, that made me giggle. Farmageddon. Right, let's go over there. Crematoriums. Oh, the crematoriums. Somebody came up with, um, and some, t like, seriously, some days you should just, like, skip my videos. Just go read the comments, because the comments, some of the comments are just staggering. There was a comment left by somebody who said that smoking hot bodies... No, well, I don't even know where, where the nearest franchise is around here, but there's, there is a smoking hot bodies crematorium around here somewhere. That they've, um, they've come up with a new product for, um, for cheap funerals for your, uh, for your elderly relatives that have passed on. The Granny Confetti Cannon. Basically, you just, um, you just shove her into the easy-to-load barrel and uh, shoot her into the Hudson with a rain of confetti and everybody cheers <laughs> oh my god you guys we've got crispy creme we've got smoking hot bodies and some of, uh, some of the ones that you guys have been coming I'm not even going to mention because they're just not they're wrong I'm sorry they're wrong somebody came up with an all you eat all you eat barbecue no it's not happening right I'm going to do one at least semi practical thing before um before the end of this episode. Last episode, I was try trying to put in fire stations and I ended up putting in police stations. Although, to be honest, it wasn't a bad thing because 
I actually covered some areas that weren't covered, so it, it, it was actually a good thing. But I'm actually now going to put in some, uh, some fire stations. So we definitely want some more coverage up here. And I'm thinking probably where, 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 where. I'm thinking maybe there might be a good place. Um, yeah, yeah. So you're going in there. How does that... Oh, oh, there you are. That's not bad. That's not bad. We could do with one up here as well, though, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to pop one in. Well, if I can fit it there. Now, that should give us blue all over in that area. Yeah, you know what? I should probably have put it over there, because this isn't still a little bit patchy. Um, this is kind of, yeah, kind of sort of so-so. Over here is not good. So, let's put something in over here. And maybe put it in, like, there, I think. What does that do? Does that solve our problems? Not really. We're going to need another one. Going to need another one. Dear oh Lord. Uh, let's put it over. Let's. Oh, we. Yeah, let's put it next to the next to the solar power. How does that do us? It's considerably better. But you know what? It would be even better if I put in a road linking like this one and this one. And fortunately, we have this nice bridge on the railway so um so yeah we're gonna do it. i'm gonna put in a nice i'm gonna put in a nice road for a change there we go what a nice little tree-lined road right does that help our fire coverage oh yes it does very good very good and uh what else am i going to do what else am i going to do i'm going to put in a connection here because th then that, that one will be better as well oh oh no there's pigs there no! I might accidentally demolish Nanny Piggles. Uh, Nanny Giggles. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Let's go a little bit further. Come round. Like, uh, there, that'll do. That'll do. Cool. Right, let's move on. Um, so, more fire coverage. More fire co That's police again. I, I didn't put police stations in, did I? No, thank God. Um, you know what? This needs to be hooked up as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and actually solve some problems. Try and actually do some things. Let's come back to there. There we go. Right now, now what's the coverage? There we go. Now everybody's a bit happier. We should get less burned down buildings over there, which would be a very good thing. We um, we definitely need something over here. And I'm thinking. Uh, I want coverage that's going to get into the, like, the whole of this area. So maybe up there. Is that a, is that a good plan? Yeah, that, that gives us pretty good coverage. I think. Ooh, man alive! You, you need so much bloomin' fire coverage for these things. Let's put a second one in. How does that do? Man, it's still it's still quite a fire risk. But then I guess it's the this is the um is this the oil? Yeah. No, this is just generic industry. My god. We're spending a fortune on this, but I guess it's all good. Uh let's bang one of these in. Now I'm just looking at this road and this road needs a bit of sorting out. We're going to start, we are going to start sorting these things out, bit by bit. Step by step. We're going to put that in there, we're going to put a four-way continuation of this here. There we go. Right, now um, what am I going to do? I'm going to put in a fire station. Oh, hang on. How's that coverage now? Another one wouldn't hurt, would it? Let's be honest. There we go. Now how are we doing? Come on. There we go. That's a bit bluer. And what will happen is that like the better services they've got, 
they'll uh, they'll start to level up, and the more they level up, the less pollution they produce, which is no bad thing. We could probably improve things over here by hooking these roads up, um, which doesn't do much for our traffic, but you know it kind of is what it is. Let's hook that baby up to there, and let's have a final check. That improve things? Should do. Speed things up a little bit. Right, so, in, uh, have we covered all of our areas now? We're not covered over here by the airport. That's not, oh, we def uh, d uh, an airport should definitely have its own fire service, don't you think? If, if we have an accident, if one of these planes suddenly bursts into flame. First of all, it'd be very, very entertaining, but um, kind of not good. Oh, and we need one over here. We'd come, Lord, we need one over here. Uh, now, the problem with this is, this is a one-way road going round here. Which is not ideal for fire coverage. Uh, okay, well, how about if we try and put one on this corner. Does that give us... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Everybody's going to be a lot, lot happier now. And man, we're, we're still not covering this area particularly well. I'm thinking, I'm think. actually I'm, I'm, I was going to link these roads up but there's no point because I'm going to change things around anyway because I'm going to put in big farms. But you know what, we've run out of time for this episode, my god, and I've tried to get a lot done. Um, come back for the next one and uh, we'll carry on and we'll, we'll try and expand, I want to get the population up. Next target is what, 150,000? Sounds good to me. Um, so we'll be expanding. We'll be trying to put in some um, some rural bu uh, some boroughs, not necessarily rural, but low density uh, boroughs, and uh, we'll still be expanding the city. I want to put Central Park in. I want to put in like the Upper West Side, like Harlem, and do all of that kind of stuff, and maybe a bit of the Bronx and some Brooklyn, and oh my God, so much to do. Catch you for the next one.